So, the first thing you're going to do when you hear a new name is what? Yeah, if I can teach you nothing else today, attention is really key. The next thing is something I do often. Ask for the spelling of the name and then try to visualize it. Now, disclaimer, if the person's name is Tom Jones, do not ask for the spelling, okay? But for a lot of names, they can be spelled differently. Kelly, I asked you, because I know Kelly's that put an I on the end instead of a Y. But what I do as I'm asking people their name and asking them to spell it, I try to see their name in writing. You know when people have a large name tag on where you can actually see the name as an image? It's easier and quicker to learn names. Again, because we need to see a picture to help our memory. So if that's another important tip. As you meet people, try to visualize the name in writing. You know, in your mind's eye, put a name tag on the person. Gary, I'm seeing a tag with your name, Gary, okay? So that's another thing you can do. Repeat the name to yourself and use it in conversation. Rick and Bev, I think I did that with you. I think I said so I asked you a question using your names. So that helps, all right? Use it right away. Then you wanna notice spontaneous associations. And this can run the gamut from a friend or relative with the same name as this person you're meeting, to a celebrity, to just an object that like some names, especially last names, Carpenter, a Hammer, um, just various names can remind you of. And sometimes you have to use your imagination. Like Keith could be Keys. Because what you want to do is create images to go with different names. When I meet someone named Bill, I plaster a dollar bill on his forehead in my mind's eye to help. And then I try to focus on his face, but see that dollar bill there. Um, someone named Mark, I might mark up their shirt with a magic marker so I get some action in there. So depending on the name, you want to try and come up with images. This takes a little effort. Because some of you at this point are saying, oh wow, that's too much work. But that's the kind of thing that helps store it into your memory. You're elaborating on it. You're paying attention to it. If you just hear the name and keep going, it's probably not going to go into your memory for very long. Um, I'll try to take questions at the end. Longer names. We might need to break into syllables. When I was teaching in the doctoral program at Wheaton College, I had a student named John Laskowski. I thought, whoa, that's a long name. I have to break it up. Laskowski, lost cow ski. I pictured a cow coming down the slopes of Aspen and he lost his skis. And it worked. I never forgot his name. When I was speaking in New Jersey last year, a gentleman came up and introduced me and he said, my name is Pinkowski. Just think of a pink house key. Can you visualize a pink house key? And I planted it right on his head. I can still visualize his face. And he's got this pink house key on his head. So again, syllables, break them up, come up with images for each one. 